Hello everybody and welcome to another Houdini tutorial. Um, as of today, uh, and as of these tutorials, I am now releasing a new and improved volumetrics toolkit. Um, this volumetrics, ugh, sorry, this volumetric toolkit is primarily made for doing atmospheric effects, um, and I created it because I'm very tired of building clouds. I've been working on clouds a lot. I've been studying clouds for the past four years, and I have worked on clouds in the past four years, and it was painful. So here are some tools to help make your life easier. So let's start off with the first one, the density adjustment HDA. With clouds, um, you're often having to, I would say, adjust the densities. You'll often get notes if you're in production where you're like, I, hey, make one section of this cloud more dense or less dense or something. And so I've created an HDA that will allow you to uh, either reduce the volume or multiply the volume of your cloud depending on what you want. So right now I have this basic cloud set up and it is just this big noisy thing. Um, I'm not going to get too particular about the element scale of the noise and everything, but you can see that it's working. It's a detailed cloud. Um, it's fairly decent res. Um, let me just scale up the element scale just for sanity's sake because it's going to bug me. Um, if there's one thing I'm OCD about, it's clouds. I like everything to be somewhat consistent. So we have our cloud. And it's a pretty dense cloud. So we're going to go to our density adjustment HDA. And you might have noticed as soon as you drop it down, you see a full on density reduction. And it, that's because of this multiplier right here. You can see it's set at 0 0.4. And if we lower it, it will reduce the overall density of the cloud um, a lot more. Now, if you multiply it to 2, this will get even more dense. So by leaving it on 1, it won't affect the density whatsoever. Now, let's say if I wanted to reduce specific areas or specific zones of density in the cloud, I would turn on volume reduce. Now, based on this curve, so if we expand this outwards, I'm going to make it bigger. I'm also going to delete some of the lines for sanity sake here. Slide this over there. You can see how the way I changed the curve is how it will affect the density of the overall cloud. And basically, after doing this, you can see where the de stronger areas of density are in the cloud and where the voxel count mostly is. Now, the other thing that this um, HD allows you to do is convert it to a VDB after post-processing because in order to you know play with the volumes you have to convert the cloud back to a volume and then back to a VDB so by converting this back to a VDB you can then work with it again and that's pretty much it for this node now let's move on to the noise affection HDA so the noise affection HDA is for those troublesome notes where your producer says, hey, can we add more detail in this? And adding detail into a cloud is a little bit painful um, because generally the higher resolution something is, the more detail requires either a lower voxel count or more displacement, which might, the displacement might actually change the overall effect of the cloud or the overall shape. So this HD is designed to go on top of all your previous noise and simulation changes and even add kind of like a velocity shearing on the edges of the cloud. So if you click on it, you can see it's created velocity shearing over the course of that cloud. And if we click on the HDA, it's basically inserting noise into the clouds. Once again, it can switch it over to a VDB after post-processing that. You have options for noise that you can infect through the cloud as well. And if you want to play with the overall roughness of the cloud, you can do that as well. And those are the two tools we're going to be featuring here in this tutorial for the tool sets. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.